Hello everyone, this is Dr. Alan Craig with Ascent Hearing Center. Uh, thank you again for giving me just a few minutes of your time uh, to talk about something related to uh, hearing, hearing loss, hearing aids, uh, those kind of things. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today is something called the speech banana. Uh, now it's not this kind of banana uh, like you may be thinking of. Uh, but when we do a hearing test on you, uh, we plot the results of that hearing test on a graph that we call an audiogram. And uh, that is very useful information for us uh, as we look at your hearing loss and what may or may not need to be done to help you with your hearing loss. But it typically is not particularly meaningful for the patient or if they have a family member or caregiver there. Uh, the speech banana is something that does help the audiogram uh, to make real life sense uh, to the patient uh, as we're visiting with them. And so uh, this is uh, an audiogram. Uh, this is not an actual person's audiogram, but it is uh, an audiogram that I created that is representative of uh, just a very common hearing loss that we see on a regular basis uh, in the office. Uh, the blue X's and the red O's uh, represent your hearing, where your hearing is. Uh, the X's are your left ear, the O's are your right ear. Uh, and as we go across the graph from left to right, uh, it's just like uh, going across a piano. We're going from low pitches across to high pitches. Uh, and as we go from top to bottom, uh, essentially the farther down your marks are, the more hearing loss there is. And so that's what those X's and O's mean. Uh, but in simpler terms, uh, when we plot your hearing loss on the audiogram, any sound that falls above your X's and O's are sounds that you cannot hear. And the speech banana, uh, as it is referred to, uh, is the little shaded box that sort of looks like a banana. And what that represents is average conversational speech in the English language. And so that helps us to get an idea of how much speech information are you missing out on. And also helps us to, uh, you know, help you to understand that because uh, as hearing loss develops uh, in our lives, there are a lot of sounds uh, that we can no longer hear like we once did. Uh, and we want to bring those sounds back into your life and back into your world uh, because that's what normal is and that's, you know, that's how we improve quality of life. But on a typical day, the most important sound that you will hear is the sound of other people talking, whether it is a family member or a friend or your uh, doctor or healthcare provider or maybe even your favorite show on television. And so we really, really like to look at uh, that speech banana and see how much speech information, information is missing uh, so that we can see what the need is exactly. Uh, we even have the ability to plot uh, specific speech sounds on the speech banana so you can see if you're missing an S sound or a T sound or a TH sound. Um, and typically uh, when we do this and, and when we show people the speech banana much more so than when we show them their audiogram, um, uh, we'll, we'll begin to see in the patient's face that yes, that makes sense to me based upon what I'm experiencing in my real life. And it helps uh, to sort of connect the dots, uh, if you will. Uh, and it also gives us a way of tracking, uh, for example, if you do use hearing aids, um, to be able to see, are we getting those sounds back for you? Which was you know, one of our primary objectives in putting amplification on a patient. Uh, and so, uh, so that's the speech banana, uh, and there are uh, a, a few slight variations of it. Sometimes it's uh, 
very rigid corners and sometimes it's a little more elliptical maybe looks a little more like a banana uh, to be honest with you uh, but it's there to help you understand how much of the most important sound uh, that you need to hear on a day-to-day -day basis for good quality of life is missing because your hearing is not as good uh, as it once was. Uh, thank you again for tuning in for a few minutes. Uh, if there are any questions that we can uh, answer for you, feel free to reach out uh, at 870-268-1488 or you can email us at info at hearingaidsjonesboro.com. Uh, you can also find out more about us, uh, uh, who we are, and what we do uh, on our website at www.hearingaidsjonesboro.com. Thanks again for your time, and uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions for future blog posts, please feel free to reach out and let us know. Have a great day.